know about you, but being stuck on basically anything gives me anxiety <laughs> to begin with. And then when you think about the weather and just how cold it was, you really have to feel for those people, my goodness. Yeah, definitely not ideal conditions being stuck on that train, but like they mentioned, better on the train than outside, right? right? Here's a look at what's going on outside Western New York right now. This was a photo sent into our newsroom from North Tonawanda. Right along the river there, you can see the ice jamming on the sides and a little bit of snow that's accumulated on top. Now, already a wintry scene across much of Western New York, but we're going to be adding some fresh snow to the mix as we begin your day tomorrow. Starting at 6 o'clock in the morning, winter weather advisories go into effect in all of Western New York and Northern Pennsylvania, and they extend all the way through 10 o'clock tomorrow night and even after 10 we're still anticipating some light snow showers so the threat will not end late tomorrow not really until Thursday and we'll get to the timing in a moment but here's what's going on outside right now on the satellite and radar we've got some light snow flurries really pushing across western New York especially in Niagara and Orleans counties but again this is very very minimal and very light not accumulating to anything much when that will start to change is when we get into the early morning hours of tomorrow so notice that about two o'clock in the morning we'll see some snow showers developing towards Jamestown into McKean and Potter counties that will linger there for a little while before moving further north. Notice what happens at about 8 o'clock. It will encompass all of our southern tier counties. That being said, Buffalo will still be in the clear as well as Batavia and the 90. So if you're using that for the early morning commute, it will look a OK. But into the afternoon and evening, we are expecting to see that snow push further north and really encompass all of Buffalo, Batavia, Niagara Falls, Albion, and snow will actually be pretty heavy at times. And notice where I've got this model stopped at about five o'clock tomorrow evening. So just in time for the evening commute. That means you should once again be weather ready, have a blanket in the car, have some granola bars in the car, maybe a water because the commute, commute tomorrow evening will be a lot slower than you'd probably like. And that snow won't really move out of here until, say, midnight tomorrow evening. Now, even then, as we get into early Thursday morning, we are anticipating just some light flurries continuing. But for the most part, again, the most impactful snow will be out of our region. And I've showed you this map a couple of times throughout the last hour, but it's a good reminder that shovel snow, snow blow snow, even potentially plowable snow is on the way. Batavia, Albion, Niagara Falls, Buffalo, all looking at a good four to eight inches of snow on the ground by tomorrow evening. Springville, North Boston, also looking at places like four to eight inches. But further south in the southern tier, Chautauqua, Cattaraugus, Allegheny counties, we're talking more like three to six. And surprisingly, northern Pennsylvania will pick up the least of the snowfall, looking at one to three inches. Now, outside of all of that, it's a chilly day today and will again be tomorrow. That means the fluff factor will be there in terms of snow. So get ready for the light fluffy stuff. At least it's not heavy and wet and hard to shovel. That's one positive, right? Here's a look outside 21 in Buffalo, 21 in the falls, and we've got upper teens across the southern tier. We've got wind speeds 5 to 15 miles per hour, and you can expect relatively similar conditions to last night expected tonight. Again, 7 to 13 degrees is what we're forecasting with just some light snow. Tomorrow the day you have to be weather ready as that widespread snow will push through the area all day long. We'll quiet down for Thursday and Friday, but again, towards the weekend, we're expecting our next batch of winter weather.